<laughs> okay, let's try this again. Okay, so, so what I'm going to go over kind of briefly and as I learn how to do these uh, video tutorials and editing and stuff like that, I decided to do like a tutorial on an adapter I had to make for the Evo Light. Um, mainly the Evo White. And the reason being is that the my phone with the OtterBox case on it and the protector, it will not fit in there or it fits very snugly. And then when I turn it vertically for the vertical footage, it's good for um, YouTube uh, shorts and TikTok and stuff like that. Essentially what happens is it rides kind of low, um, kind of throws remote remote even more off balance and... Basically, it just kind of gets in the way. So I am making an adapter in this video and you'll not see all of my manufacturing goodies because I decided I probably need a different camera like a GoPro to really do some different footage and stuff like that. Um, but essentially, the I use a cutting board to cut an adapter that fits to the clip, to the, the belt clip phone holder, so to speak, for the OtterBox protective case I have for my uh, Google Pixel 7 Pro. And it's actually working pretty good. So let's take a look at what I'm up to, okay? Okay, so kind of let you know a little bit more about what I'm up to. Um, I've already described my phone case is just too big to fit into, you know, the vertical adapter um, for the remote here. And it also does not fit like into the, uh, hey kitty, does not fit into the actual holder with the auto case on it. So basically I've got the OtterBox uh, case and then this is the OtterBox belt clip. So I'm going to manufacture something with this cutting board. I'll cut it down actually. <laughs> and that way it allows the uh, clip to clip over it and that's the theory anyway so that that way with the uh, the Autel vertical uh, mount in there and then our manufactured or fabricated cutting board apparatus that fits in there and then this can fit over the top of that for either vertical or I can rotate that clip and we can go horizontal. That's gonna solve a bunch of problems for me and um, let's move on to the next part of the video. The, the adapter out of the cutting board, I'm gonna go ahead and do a layout now. I decided to make it two inches by three inches. It's gonna be pretty straightforward stuff. Um, I don't know if that can adjust there or not, but there's a the cutting board and I think we'll just take it from this side. We'll do rounded corners and everything if we can. And we'll just go in at like a little mark there at two inches and another mark there at like three. And let's do like a pause. Okay, decided to make a couple more marks here. So we're gonna come in like here. We'll pull over a little parallel there. And basically, I'm going to lay this out like that. Okay. And we'll pull another parallel over here. Three inches. Okay. Okay, so using my chop saw, I'm going to go ahead and cut that piece to size there. We can line it up pretty well here. Give it a trial here in a moment. Let's go about right there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and try that out. 
Okay, so let's start out with the Autel Sky remote controller. You know, it's got essentially the antenna that comes up here, and this is pretty much where the phone is supposed to slide in. Now, my phone with the OtterBox protective case on it, it just doesn't fit. So, the interesting part about it though, is that it does actually fit into, this is the vertical um, mount that fits inside of the controller. So you can see it switches for the Evo Light um, drone that's got a vertical uh, camera on it. And then this can go straight inside of the controller like this and you can turn your phone sideways and you can turn it vertical right so once we put that in and we this will actually barely squeeze in there and actually don't mind it it's kind of a nice tight snug fit um it does pretty well now this is the problem though let's adjust this a little bit so it's even uh conducive to anything i got going on here so if you snap this down into place there get it set up in your controller okay we're still looking at the horizontal mode but then when we switch it to vertical what happens is my thumbs kind of run into the phone a little bit actually that's not too bad okay so what i did is i created a spacer um, right now the phone's kind of set up high this way so it's really making it top heavy i created a spacer so i could center the phone a little bit better basically i used it from that cutting board i was showing you and i cut it out i cut a notch um, i cut it to size i just rounded this is a rough sample i just rounded the corners here um, with a grinder and a, a rasp file a fine rasp it was pretty good and then i dadoed out the back side and cleaned it up a little bit more with a file again a flat file um, and then i kind of beveled the end here so it would accommodate the clip so basically what you can do at that point is you can put this into the uh the clip that it's designed for. So we've got, I like that because it kind of just snaps right in, right? That's really cool actually. And then we have the belt clip, belt clip on the back. So this is part of the um, otter box um, protective case and the belt hook and all that. So then we can take that and we actually hook that right into here like this mm -hmm. whoops now we'll take this out here as you can see that kind of just slides right in there it fits in pretty nicely actually i really am pleased with the way it worked out now from there this can pop right back into there as you can see, well, we're a little bit like, how you doing there? Remember to turn that. So we got the phone a little bit more centered and I've got a little bit more room so that I can actually get my thumbs kind of underneath the phone. Makes it a little bit more balanced. I got everything right here. So at any rate, that's my little gadget, my adapter as it is. Um, it's also kind of cool to have it in there when I'm like downloading. I can level out the phone, everything else. You know, it does kind of hang proud now from the controller, um, but not really the end of the world. And we're just playing with things. This is a prototype, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so that was kind of the adapter in action. Um, just a real quick end of video. That's kind of what it looks like. And if we take it, um, kind of pull it out here, you can see it slides right through. And then there's like the dado. Now I did the dado with the table saw. I, I, I thought I had a dado blade for the table saw, but I didn't. So it was like one little swipe at a time. 
Um, and then again, I used the table saw to notch this out. And then I actually used a grinder to round the corners, kind of soften up the edges, and then kind of bevel this a little bit so the clip fits in there securely. Now, it works pretty good, but it is just a prototype. And we'll probably do some adjustments to it. Um, it's a little bit rough around the edges. I mean, I was using like a file and stuff to smooth it down and shape it correctly. Ultimately, um, a 3D printer, which I'm not gonna buy right now, would be the, I think in a home situation, would be the best thing to use for something like this. If you're proficient with AutoCAD, you could set it up, um, have it printed out overnight. It would be freaking great. That's, that's the reality of it, but we're not gonna do that because this was $7. The whole cutting board was, I have more pieces to use as I dial this in and I'll make it look nice. Um, I'd like to thank Autel Robotics for allowing me to you know, use their name and their product. Um, so that that way I could uh, expand my um, ver horizons as a drone pilot, okay? And I'll check back in as soon as the weather clears on how this works um, while it's in flight. Take care.